What's up everyone, welcome back to another video here on my channel today, this is another gameplay commentary, it's not actually about Grand Theft Auto, it's more so about Red Dead Redemption 2. As you guys may know, E3 is coming up and I'm going to be talking about something which recently has popped off on the gaming entertainment side of social media and we're going to be talking about this in this video. Before we begin, I know in my last video we asked for two likes, we actually passed that amazingly within the first 10 seconds of upload. So this time, since it's Red Dead Redemption 2, 2 times 2 is 21, let's try and go for 21 likes on this video, make sure it fucking happens. Now, it's late night, I'm bored, all my friends are busy, freaking out, partying, doing crazy shit making YouTube videos and playing video games however I thought I'd take a little break and decide to make a late night commentary on something that I'm really passionate about I love every single game that Rockstar Games ever made or maybe almost every single one I love freaking the ping pong table tennis game bully scholarship edition GTA and Red Dead Redemption however bully and Red Dead Redemption are still yet to have their freaking sequels and this is what I've been asking for for such a long time now the image I'm going to show you guys on the screen was actually sent out by Ubisoft regarding an Assassin's Creed syndicate survey asking what games people are going to be purchasing Red Dead Redemption 2 is actually on the list now with E3 really really close a bunch of youtubers are going to be flying out me personally I'm only going to go to the gaming events in the UK this year however next year I am planning on going to it but that's a really really long time away so we'll talk about that later Rockstar Games is going to be at E3 and shit is going to be popping off as you guys can see it says which one of the following games are you planning to purchase select up to five items that are most important for you we have a new Elder Scroll. they listed Skyrim 2, which we haven't really heard anything about, and personally, that would be sick, because I also love the Skyrim game. You now, we got ba Batman Arkham Knight, we got Black Ops 3, which is going to be sick, Halo 5, Just Cause 3, Mad Max, Metal Gear Solid 5, Mortal Kombat, all this sort of shiz, Rainbow Six. And right at the bottom, sneaky beaky like, it says Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, not sure whether or not they're confirming anything, you know, keep in mind Ubisoft is a completely different game development team to Rockstar Games and I don't think they've ever worked together and the reason why they're listing it could be completely different. Maybe it's just a filler for something that Rockstar Games is planning to announce at E3 or maybe down low they know that this is what Rockstar Games are actually going to be announcing. Now with E3 coming up pretty soon, if you guys don't know what it is, it's a massive gaming convention that takes place in Los Angeles. Like I said, every single big game developer is going to be there. Rockstar Games don't actually typically attend, but recently they've been going to attend. And the last one is absolutely phenomenal. We saw gameplay of GTA 5 and such. We saw gameplay of GTA 5 on the PS4 that we had never seen before. It was mind-blowing. People were excited, cheering, screaming like wild gaming fans. So pumped for what they had to offer. And this year, I think it's going to be even bigger, even badder, and even better with Red Dead Redemption 2. I think we can possibly expect some sort of gameplay trailers, maybe a breakdown, stuff like that from Rockstar Games over at E3. It's a great chance for video game developers to showcase their content and of course get the promotion that they want. You see all these freaking newspapers, magazines, uh, gaming articles, they all report on E3 news and I am also going to be doing so right here on my YouTube channel. So if there is any information about this or any other games listed on the screen, I will be sure to keep you guys updated. All you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know in the comment section, would you like to see a sequel for Red Dead Redemption? I think anyone with a sane mind would definitely say yes and give this video a thumbs up you guys are absolutely amazing so stay amazing and peace out hey, how's it going? or challenging you to duels as your fame grows when you enter a town local tough guys are more likely to want to make a name for themselves by challenging a man such as you to a duel dueling has its own set of challenges draw first and you'll have more time but your shots will be less accurate Draw later, and you'll have less time, but your accuracy will improve. Again, it's up to you to pick the way you want to play. Committing a crime increases the bounty on your head. However, strategic use of a bandana will prevent others from recognizing you and ensure your wanted meter goes down faster. Players can never let their guard down. A seemingly innocent encounter can turn deadly when you least expect it. Life in the West was unforgiving. Violence was a constant presence. From intervening in a roadside execution, to chasing down a stolen wagon, to becoming embroiled in a deadly gunfight. The goal of Red Dead Redemption is to push the boundaries of the open world game. Engage the player with constant action and opportunity, 
and tell the story of a world losing both its innocence and its freedom. 